It's like super nice Ethiopia, which could cost 70, or it's a better coffee. It's a hard guess. Can you easily taste the difference between commercial and specialty coffee? How big is the difference between 10 euro coffee bag and 100 euros coffee beans? We wanted to find out, so we created a coffee tasting challenge for our expert Tomo. He's a certified Q grader, which is like a top level sommelier in the coffee world. In this video, we carefully picked four pairs of coffee with wide range of prices, quality and roasting styles. We made sure that Tomo had a zero knowledge of coffees we selected. Okay guys, so we have uh, two coffees. This is coffee A, coffee B. I have no idea where they're from, how they're roasted. This is the first time I see the beans, so let's have a look. Uh, coffee A has quite uh, pale beans. They look quite nice, consistent size, nice coloring. It looks like uh, some washed coffee and it's quite light. I would guess like something from Central America. Uh, the coffee bee, it <laughs> looks really scary. <laughs> it's super dark, very oily, like, I don't know if you can see, like can, you can see the defects from the roasting where the coffee is basically burned. There are some broken beans and uh, maybe it looks like more varieties because there are pea berries, there are a little bit larger beans. So let's brew them. So far, definitely, I can say that uh, the lighter roasted coffee uh, should be of higher quality and uh, more expensive. Why? Because if this coffee was bad and it was roasted lightly, it's gonna taste awful. This is a very dark roast, which usually we don't do with high quality beans. So I assume it's gonna be cheaper or lower quality. On the other hand, it can be high quality coffee that's burned, but we're gonna find out when we taste it. I think you can see the color now after we finish the brews. Okay, this is very light roasted coffee. Uh, it has some fruitiness, some chocolate notes as well. Pretty nice coffee, I would say this is definitely some specialty coffee lot, so it should be uh, of a higher quality and also higher price. Oh, that's super strong. In terms of flavor, there is just like cocoa and like smokiness and like a rubber in there, which is a common flavor in Robusta coffees. Oh, so either it's super, super dark roasted Arabica that has no acidity, no fruitiness, or there might be a little bit of Robusta as well. There, there is huge differences in those two. To make it shorter, this is for me definitely higher quality beans. My guess is that this is coffee that could cost about, let's say, 50 euros. And this is the coffee that could cost around 35 euros. 30, 30 euros per kilogram. Okay, so this is A, 40 euros. It's a quite okay price. <laughs> and this one, it's six euros. Per, no, nine euros, even nine for one kilogram. Wow, okay. So there you go, 40 and nine. Coffee A is a specialty single origin coffee, 100% Arabica from Brazil is naturally processed, roasted for espresso. Coffee B is a commercial blend of Arabica and Robusta, roasted for espresso. Round two. So this is second round. Again, we have coffee A and B. And you can see by the look that A is uh, roasted lighter and B is roasted darker. Why we even look at the beans is because the base for the price and the quality is how the beans look like. If you have too many defects, it cannot be specialty coffee and it's probably coffee that will be cheaper and will taste worse. So let's have a look. Coffee A has quite nice consistent beans. They are like different sizes, maybe like two varieties or two different coffees. Some of them look a bit fermented and some look like washed. There are a few beans that have uh, little roasting defects, which happens often when the beans are lighter and these are very light and it's called tipping. It's when 
the part of the bean gets a little bit burned here in the black, in the soft part. The dark coffee, it looks a little bit better than the coffee before because it's more consistent. We can see it's some washed coffee, has nice large beans, but it's super oily. I never seen such a shiny coffee or for a long time. So let's brew them. I know I should be comparing these two, but um, now as this is one category similar to the one before, I would say this is more developed. It's a little bit darker rose than the coffee before. Uh, there, is, there is some bitterness in the flavor. It smelled much more fruity than its taste now, uh, but that might be the recipe, the water, all this stuff. But the flavor is clean. It has some caramel notes, cho chocolate notes. In aftertaste, there is hint of uh, roasty flavors, but overall nice clean and sweet coffee. Okay. Uh, it's better than the first round. Thank you. Uh, but still, it's a dark roast. So from the beginning to the aftertaste, there is like a dark chocolate, cocoa, a lot of roasty flavors, but there is not this heavy, heavy robusta flavor, rubberish. So I think this is probably just a dark roasted clean Arabica. I would say it might be nice coffee that's roasted very dark. I would say this is of course higher quality and higher price. So I would go for 50 euros again. With the commercial coffee, as you could see in the first round, I was really off as I don't buy coffee in supermarket. This is better than the first round, but I would say the price would be like 20 euros per kilogram. So, so the coffee A, it's 12 euros per kilogram. Okay, that's surprise. So maybe again, uh, it's hard because I can feel the roastiness here. Maybe if it was a bit lighter roast, it will be more unpleasant. But I remember the beans, the beans look nice and there is some acidity, the aroma was better than the taste. So, but still it's surprising. That's the price for one kilogram. Okay, and the second coffee, 35. So actually I was lower, but it was nice coffee. It would be great to taste them roasted in the same way. Then we could say the difference. Coffee A is a commercial blend of 100% Arabica from Brazil and Colombia, roasted relatively light. Coffee B is a premium coffee, single origin, 100% Arabica from Colombia, Supremo, roasted very dark. Okay, before we taste more coffee with Tomo, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, Standard. Here we have new issue 27 of our favorite coffee print magazine. As usual, it comes with a sample of tasty coffee, but this time it's even more special since coffee is both produced and roasted in Colombia by Tropicalia. I have to admit that coffee packaging of this small sample is well thought and simply beautiful. Our favorite reads from this issue is a portrait of Sicily as a future coffee producing region in Europe. A story of bringing coffee drinking habit to space station through developing IS Espresso. And also an essay on sweetness in coffee by Dr. Fabiana Carvalho, who explains that sweetness we perceive in coffee does not come from sugar. Okay, it's time to take another sip, list through the Mac, and remind you that besides the beautiful print magazine, Standard is building a platform where a community of like-minded people can meet and share ideas. It's a new perk for all subscribers, so if you are not one of them yet, you should go to standardmagcom ECT and grab a yearly subscription. Okay, now back to tasting and guessing coffee price with Tomo. Round three. Okay guys, round number three, it's getting harder and harder. So the coffee A looks like it's darker roasted coffee. Uh, I can see there is some washed coffee. There is some tipping, so it's a little bit burnt. It looks again like a more varieties or blend. Hard to say, but it's going to be hard to assess it again because there'll be a lot of roasty notes. Coffee B, 
it's lighter, much lighter, uh, but it doesn't look so nice like the other lighter coffees. Quite a lot of defects. The beans are different sizes. So, oh, okay, but it smells really nice. <laughs> Let's brew them. I like to start with a light roasted coffee because the f roasty flavors, they stay in the aftertaste and on your tongue. So I always start with a light roast. Yeah, it tastes really nice. Mm, <laughs> there is a papaya, uh, jasmine flowers or like coffee blossom, maybe some strawberries, like a nougat flavor. Mm. It's really, really nice taste. My guess, this is specialty coffee for sure. And my guess would be it's fermented Ethiopian coffee. And this is just as the smell. It's a little bit dry, a lot of cocoa and uh, nothing more. My guess is this is definitely better tasting specialty coffee. I would say this is like 60 euros for a kilogram, no problem. This is super simple, dark roasted. It had different, uh, different beans with the, with the size. It was a bit oily. I would say this is like 15 euros and probably blend of Arabica and Robusta or very dark roast Arabica. Oh, the first one, 60 euros and coffee A, 35. Oh, that's a surprise. So to me, the coffee for 12 was like a bit more pleasant than this one, but it might be the roasting like even the aroma is very heavy, very like dark roasted coffee. If they were from the same origin, then this my, my, must be like an old coffee because it's very uh, stale. Coffee A is a premium coffee, single origin 100% Arabica from Ethiopia, Sidamo, roasted very dark. Coffee B is a specialty coffee, single origin from Ethiopia, Guji region, grown in 2,155 meters above sea level. To process it, they use special method called Pile Up. It's light roasted coffee for filter coffee. Round four. So we have a last round. What we can see now, the sample B looks lighter roasted. Sample A looks like I mean, it can be filter roast, it's just the beans are a bit uh, darker. It looks like the washed coffee. Uh, quite nice, there is some broken beans, which is very little defect that's in every coffee, but otherwise quite nice, consistent, I would say. Sample B, it's lighter roasted. Either two washed coffees or two varieties, because here the beans, some of them are larger, some of them are smaller. I don't see much defect or roasting defect. So it could be that we have two nice coffees on the table. Let's brew them. The coffee B smells more interesting and premium because there's a lot of florality, like jasmine again, and coffee flower. So uh, it might be hard round because both smell like a nice, uh, good roasted specialty coffees. So I assume they are both of higher quality. On the other hand, it can also be easier because if they are roasted correctly, the flavor and the quality is more transparent. So we can say more about the coffees and uh, we can assess them in a better way than if they were roasted dark. So. The coffee A, yeah, it's very nice. It's clean, tastes a little bit like apples, caramel. The second coffee or the coffee B, mm -hmm. similar to the round before, there is uh, florals like jasmine, coffee flower, 
there is some sweet lemony flavor. It's very floral. Both specialty, both I would say high quality, very pleasant coffees. My guess is this could be 55 euros and this could be 60. Or the second option, <laughs> it's geisha and then it would be much more expensive i would say okay so like uh, 55 and 70 so it's a bigger gap oh 53 quite close and this one 81 so it's geisha right no no <laughs> Is it Ethiopia? Coffee A is a specialty coffee, single origin from Ecuador, Guadalamba region, washed process, grown in about 2000 meters above sea level. It's a light roasted coffee, suitable for filter coffee. The capping score is 88.5 points out of 100. Coffee B is a specialty coffee, single origin from Ethiopia, Gedeb region, washed processed, grown in about 2000 meters above sea level. It's a light medium roasted coffee, suitable for both filter coffee and espresso. The capping score is 89.75 points out of 100. What you can take from this video, it's not always about the price that matters. We tasted coffees from 8 to 80 euros, so there is a huge gap. You could see that I liked coffee for 12 euros, which was really surprising and it is surprised by now. But also you could see that the, the price increased. I enjoyed the quality with some exceptions. So. If you are keen to buy a better quality coffee, you should always look for the information that you have on the package or that you get from the barista. Now, we have a question for you. What coffee do you buy to brew at home and how much do you pay for them? As you saw in the video, the price is only one parameter that influences whether the coffee tastes good or not. And we encourage you to look beyond the price tag. Thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.